Welcome. Today I would like to talk about Angular 2 and uh, how uh, you can use ng container and so I will just give a quick example so let's get started. Basically I have an Angular 2 app uh, which is uh, from a model uh, and it's doing an ng4 and it's just, uh, just showing the h4 uh, the anchor link so that's all fine and good. So let me uh, show you a simple use case that I've come across uh, that uh, kind of demonstrates the use of ng container. So to do that, let me just uh, create a select statement here in HTML select statement. And if we observe it, it should uh, basically um, uh, show us Um, the options A and B and that's pretty much uh, what you expect. So that's just straight HTML. So what I'm kind of thinking is uh, how can I get this ng4 and show it as part of the select statement. So first thing I thought about is okay I can just put in, in as an option user.name for example. So we could do that. Obviously if you want to do that you need to get the user somehow. So uh, what you can do is you can try to uh, get these as part of the select statement here ng4 and see if that works. So if I do that I kind of get an unexpected result is uh, it created a lot of select statements here with just this first name and the option. So obviously this is not what you expect. So there may be other ways to do this but one easy way to do this is when you have these options you can wrap it inside uh, a pseudo element basically called the ng container and I'm just going to type it in it's called ng container and uh, we can wrap this whole thing under an ng container for example so now we have a, a, essentially uh, a block code a block but that doesn't really affect any HTML that is rendered and you can put this under there for example the for uh, iterator and let's see what it does this uh, this time around so if I do this time around you can see it is doing what I expected and it's putting this element B as well because I have the B kind of sitting here so I can remove that option B here and this should work and it should render as expected and you can see that uh, it's basically uh, if you look at the inspect this it's uh, essentially created a block and it's, this is just some internal comment that uh, Angular 2 adds but here are my options and it put on all the names. So this is uh, um, really a good use of using ng containers. So if you need to wrap something up uh, what you want to do is just use ng container instead of trying to use a div because that might alter your CSS or how the elements are entered. So thank you for watching this short screencast and I will add this to my website uh, here under angular 2 ng container